The 2008 financial crisis triggered the biggest constitutional crisis on Parliament Hill since the 1920s. One month after an election, the minority Conservative government delivered its fiscal update. It all but ignored the global economic meltdown and instead vowed to end the per-vote public subsidy for federal parties. Canadians pay their own bills, and for some Canadians that is getting harder to do. Political parties should pay their own bills too. The opposition reaction was immediate. We are not about to play the partisan games and watch the attack on democracy unfold while leaving thousands and thousands of Canadians being thrown into the streets because of the recession and the loss of jobs. He has no stimulus package to save jobs and boost the economy. Are you prepared to go to an election over this? Well, we have our, this is a, a financial bill in the House of Commons. It's a matter of confidence. However, the other parties weren't thinking about an election. Opposition leaders past and present instead talked of a coalition to take power from the Conservatives. I uh, discussed with Jack Layton yesterday and Stéphane Dion, uh, uh, but uh, we're, we're having those discussions, lo looking at uh, if we can come to an agreement. I've talked to Mr. Gretchen, and he and I both discussed um, what would be a good situation here for the people of Canada. Conservatives withdrew the plan to cancel party subsidies and delayed a potential confidence vote. Well, we have been working on the economy. The opposition has been working on a backroom deal to overturn the results of the last election. Stefan Dion had already announced he would resign as Liberal leader when he, Jack Layton and Gilles Doucet agreed to a Liberal NDP coalition government with Bloc Québécois support. Canadians elected 308 members of Parliament in October, not just Stephen Harper. It is the Governor General's responsibility to inquire whether an alternative government could be formed that would have the confidence of the House of Commons. Prime Minister, your government has lost the confidence of the House, and it is going to be defeated at the earliest opportunity in the House of Commons. I urge you to accept this gracefully. So we are heading into some uncharted territory here in the coming days, where it's becoming increasingly clear that the Governor General could very well be called upon to make a historic decision. This deal that the leader of the Liberal Party has made with the separatists is a betrayal of the voters of this country, a betrayal of the best interests of our economy, a betrayal of the best interests of our country, and we will fight it with every means. The Prime Minister failed. The Prime Minister doesn't have the support of this House anymore. Will he allow a vote to test if he has really the confidence of this House as it must be in a de parliamentary democracy? One day later, Stephen Harper made a direct appeal to Canadians. The opposition is attempting to impose this deal without your say, without your consent, and without your vote. Tonight, I pledge to you that Canada's government We'll use every legal means at our disposal to protect our democracy, to protect our economy, and to protect Canada. So Harper looked to block the coalition by asking the Governor General to prorogue Parliament. After making Harper wait several hours at Rideau Hall, Mikhail Jean granted the request. When Parliament resumes on January 26th, the first order of business will be the presentation of a federal budget. He's put a lock on the door of the House of Commons and he refuses to face the people of Canada through their elected representatives. The Prime Minister of Canada run, is running away from the Parliament of Canada. We are more committed than ever with the coalition because without the coalition imagine where Canada would be today. As thousands rallied in support and against the coalition plan, Dion maintained Liberal MPs were still on side. But days later, his departure as leader was made immediate. There is a sense in the party, and certainly in the caucus, that given these new circumstances, the new leader needs to be in place before the House resumes. I agree. I recommend this course to my party and caucus. Today we meet. Seven weeks later, there was another speech from the throne and a budget that the new Liberal leader was willing to support with conditions. We are putting this government 
on probation. We will be watching like hawks to make sure that the investments Canadians need actually reach them. And that effectively ended the coalition. I think they've essentially given uh, Stephen Harper uh, what he was hoping for, and that is to get out from under the, the pressure uh, that a minority parliament can impose on a prime minister. And uh, I think Mr. Mr. Ignatieff has given him that ticket.